Hi, good morning everyone. It is an honor for me to participate in the World Physiotherapy AWP Regional Congress 2020. And today, I would like to deliver my presentation with the topic, The Efficacy of Scapular Stabilization Exercises for Rounded Shoulder Posture with a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. Presented by me, Rijal, with the paper number is 81. About the introduction, recently, based on the JT et al. 2014, about 78.3% of office workers who are working behind a computer monitor suffer from rounded shoulder posture due to sedentary activities. And Ogata et al. 2020 described that rounded shoulder posture is characterized by excessive protraction, downward rotation, and anterior tipping of the scapula. And the previous studies report that the most popular treatment in dealing with a rounded shoulder posture is scapular stabilization exercises because the method has been proven more effective in eliciting high activity in the scapular retractors. However, to the best of our knowledge, no systematic review and meta-analysis has been conducted. Therefore, our study purpose is to analyze published randomized clinical trials that investigated the effect of scapular stabilization exercise for rounded shoulder posture. Based on our Prisma flowchart, we explore five different publishers. They are PubMed, Scopus, Cochrane, Google Scholar, and Pedro, and we found about 306 articles, and after doing screening based on our included and excluded criteria, we obtained five included studies for our systematic review and meta-analysis, and from those studies, we can conclude their finding, first including 117 participants, ranging from 15 to 76 adult participants, and the outcome of this study are pain, functional scale, and forward shoulder angle. And the next one, the scapular stabilization exercise are conducted at least six weeks and three times a week between 15 to 30 minutes per session. And last but not least, four out of five articles were classified as low risk of bias. Based on our study results, Two study from Patal Nahijat and Sirafi et al. 2019 reported significant improvement in reducing pain by applying scapular stabilization exercises with a high overall effect size of 10.94 compared with home program exercises. On the other hand, to RCT from Ruifu et al. 2016 and 2017 didn't find any improvement in measuring pain and functional activity using American shoulder elbow surgeon scale due to the majority participant who didn't have shoulder function in the baseline assessment. And the result of our study is in line with the previous study by Salini et al. 2016 that reported that stabilization exercise and manual therapy could be superior to stabilization exercise alone in decreasing pain. Another result of our systematic review, the scapular stabilization exercises show a significant improvement in forward shoulder posture compared to the control group with a p-value less than 0.05 and an overall effect of 4.25. And Ray Vital 2016 argued that scapular stabilization exercises may help participants to reach a postural awareness and knowledge about adopting an ideal posture that they apply to their daily living activities. And this results also supported by a previous study conducted by Yak Chi and Yaku 2019. They reported that lumbar and thoracic cup angle improved by applying scoliosis specific exercises and core stabilization exercises in moderate idiopathic scoliosis management. Finally, we can conclude from our study. First, the present study provides strong evidence that applying scapular stabilization exercises may improve rounded shoulder posture, especially in reducing pain and forward shoulder angle. And the best result for improving rounded shoulder posture would occur when 
and applies copular stabilization exercises for at least 6 to 8 weeks with an average frequency 3 times a week between 15 to 30 minutes per session. So this is our presentation. Thank you for your attention.